together. We want to rejoice together, magnify the Lord together, glorify the Lord together for the wonderful thing he has done. The Lord has used his servant to deposit the miracle working power of God into your life. And the miracle working power is already at work. Sicknesses are gone. Diseases are removed. Say amen. So we want to listen to your testimony. Come quickly. Come quickly. Whoever has got a testimony, check yourself and identify what the Lord has done in your body. Ushers, please direct them. Direct them to the front of all four, all five, where I'm pointing to now. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. Just stay where you are and listen to the testimony. Be a part of this service to the end. We need to glorify God. We need to praise him for what he has done now. Come to the front of all four or five. Quickly. 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 We are expecting you. Check yourself. See what God has done for you. Check yourself. Check yourself. Come and testify. Come and show gratitude to God. Come and show that you glorify, you appreciate the miracle the Lord has wrought in your life. Come to the front here. Yes, come quickly. Come quickly to the front of all four. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. I can see someone with a crutch there walking without a crutch. The Lord has done it for him. You see the crutch up? The Lord has done it. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Our God is good. God has done it. Yes, come quickly. Let all of us check themselves. Check yourself. What you couldn't do before, do it now. Put away your crutches. Begin to walk. Our leaders are waiting for you. In front of all four, all five, they are waiting for you. We want to hear what God has done for you. We want to rejoice with you. We want to celebrate with you. We want to glorify God and praise the name of the Lord. Another miracle there. Oh, hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. That's another crutch there. And the owner is walking without the crutch. Yes, miracle, miracle, miracle. More, more, more. Put your hands together for Jesus. Miracle, miracle, miracle. God is doing it. God is doing it. The Lord God of miracles is doing it. Walking with crutch before, but now able to walk without it. The Lord has touched her. The Lord has healed her. The Lord has done it. Let all others come. Check yourself now. Check up, check up. Any other person there? The Lord has done it. Miracle in the gallery. The Lord is doing it. Miracle. God of miracle. Come quickly to the front here. We want to begin now to listen to the testimony. Let's get the first and the second and the third ready. Line them up. Line them up. We want to hear what God has done. Miracle. Miracle. Jubilation. Celebration. Don't go yet. Be a part of this so you can rejoice with those the Lord has touched and blessed and healed. And so that your faith can be lifted up as well and you receive miracles. You receive your own. The Lord is working wonders. Let's quickly get the first person ready and then the next and the next. Our leaders there, are we ready with the number one? Are we ready? The first person. Let's have the first testifier. The first testifier. Sit down quietly and listen to the miracle that God of heaven has done for us. Yes. Tell us your name, where you come from, what the problem was, and what God has done. My name is Shaibu Rufus. I got an accident since 2015. And on my leg, there is an iron. 
There is still an iron on the leg, but to the greatest surprise today, I can walk without the crutches. And even the doctor, I used to believe on the word of God, and I believe today, and I am free. Even the doctor says that this iron will be removed by this year, December, and see what the Lord has done. This is April now. I return all the glory to him. I return all the honor. Put your hands together for Jesus. They say the iron will be there and it will be removed in December. And what month are we in? April. God has done it in the month of April. And uh, what, of course, even with the iron that was in there, she was, she was, he was still working with the crutch there, as you can see. But the Lord has done it free of charge. Miracle. Miracle. Praise the Lord. That the healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Number two. Praise the Lord! God is too faithful to fail me. My name is Sister Blessing Kende. I'm from Canaan District, Charity Kabusa Old Group. I want to testify what the Lord has done for me this very moment. I'll be expecting this miracle since I, I hear that our daddy is here. It's six years now I got married. When I, I took in, I started having BP. So when I delivered my first baby, the BP disappeared. The second baby, the BP appeared again. After delivering the second baby, the BP refused to go. I used to sing I, in, the, in the state, I, even in the street churches. I can't do all those things again. And when the thing rises up, my brain will be turning. I will be sweating and breathing high. I will not get myself. My children will just be helpless. But I want to thank God. As our Father in the Lord is here today, as he, say, as he was praying, he says that all the problems give it out. I was standing there praying. I cannot even stand long, but I saw myself standing and praying. And I cannot sit upright unless I relax like this. But I saw myself sitting down, and I can bend down, I can raise my head, and you can see me, I'm not sweating. As he said that thing, it's just like a flush of water from my brain to my chest. The BP, the tiredness, the eye turning, the pace, everything disappeared. Six years. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! The miracle water of God from heaven, from the head, down, washed away all the sorrow, all the affliction, all the bondages, all the troubles, and now she's free. Free indeed! In the name of Jesus. And the freedom is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's listen to the next testifier. Praise the Lord! Our Lord is good. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> what to say, Father, I thank you. I had an accident with Okada, Kekenapeb. The hospital they took me to said they will cut my leg. But I went to Benway State where they treated the leg. When they were going for program here, I didn't go. But yesterday I asked my, my niece that where is the program? He said it's in this place. I said I will come. But when the man of God was praying, I saw something moving out from my leg. <laughs> These are the crutches. I can walk myself. I can walk myself. I just want to give God the praise. I want to thank him for what he did for me. Praise the Lord. They wanted to cut the leg, but the Lord has healed the leg. She was walking with the crutch, but now she's free. Free indeed. And the 
blessing will be permanent in Jesus' name. Perfect, permanent healing for you, sister, in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, I am Brother Williams Aku. And for the past, for some weeks now, over two weeks, I've been having this chest pain. And this week when I had that man of God has arrived, I told my parent that actually this chest pain came in at the wrong time. I've been coming since Thursday and I've been believing God that this pain will be rolled away. And today I came very early because I told God that today I must go with my testimony. And after the prayer, as in I have been checking and I've been checking, hitting my chest, and by the grace of God, all the pains are gone. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! All the pains are gone. They are gone forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Believe God. The Lord has done it for you as well. And as you see the manifestation, come out here to testify. The next testifier. Praise the Lord! My name is Isaiah Ibu. I'm from Gagua region. Since over two weeks now, three weeks, I've been having this pain in my tummy. When it starts, it's as if I can't breathe very well, and it hurts me very well. Yesterday, we came for practice. I went to work. I came back. After, when they were sharing testimonies there yesterday, the pain started. I couldn't breathe. I was struggling myself back there. I was hearing, listening to the testimonies, and I was like, God, today, today I must give my own testimony that this pain must not go back with me back home. And glory be to God, we were there in high school. Daddy was preaching. He was praying. He mentioned my case particularly. He said, those pain in your tummy, be it ulcer or whatever, shall be ruled out. Immediately, the pain left me. I felt the pain before the prayer. But immediately after the prayer, I couldn't feel the pain anymore. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Immediately after the prayer, the, amen, amen, the pain disappeared. And that is to tell you that the mighty power of our mighty God is the same. It's at work today as you believe, you receive. Next testifier. Praise the Lord! And Sister Runke Fashola, the devil has come late this time around. 2018, I was a specialist with which chair, heart failure, fibroid, TB. All this was the glow over me. But I thank God for my pastors. I never believe I will walk again. Because anytime they come to the hospital, they will say, Sister Runke, you will walk again. I will say, Amen. I never believe I will not walk without wheelchair. Last two weeks, the symptoms came again. And the fear of going back to specialists was there because of this COVID. I was believing God. If I walk a little bit distance, I will sit to rest because I have pain in my chest. And on Sunday, it was only my daughter, daughter that went to church. When she came back, she said, Baba is coming. I said, thank the Lord. She said, Mommy, please try all you could to attend this program because she's going back to school that very Sunday. And since on Thursday, I've been using Okada because I can't walk far distance. And since... Today, when we are coming to Kado, when they drop out at that filling station, I say, how will I be able to walk down to the church? Something tell me that God has done it before, and he will do it again. I want to thank the Lord that Baba came at the right time. I will not use which chair. Praise the Lord. After the prayer, you can see I've been walking around. I defeat the pains and the stress, the tiredness, has gone and it has gone forever. 
Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Gone and gone forever. The stress, the pain, the bandage of the devil holding her down, preventing her from being able to move around. You can see her walking freely, freely, freely. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Next testifier. And the media section, get ready. Praise we'll be coming over Praise the Lord. Our God is mighty. He has no rival. Whatever he said he will do, he will do it. And nobody can stop him. My name is Sister Rose Shaibu. I'm from Buari region. From Jigo group, Jigo Central Church. I come to testify to the glory of God for saving my life. January this year, the enemy came with high BP that ran to 250 something. In fact, my being alive was the grace of God. People told me I wouldn't have been able to walk with my two legs. But I woke up and I walked with my two legs. And later, my legs started paining me. I started hearing some signs. But the last Sunday of Covenant service. Our Father in the Lord gave us a verse, and He said we should hold on to it, that the Lord will perfect all that concerns us. I held that verse, I went home, I prayed, and that was the end of the leg problem. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As if we are not enough, I, since that time, if you know me before, you will know that something is wrong. My heart is weak. To talk is a problem. I have pains my chest down. The first day of this program, in my district over there, this hotness under my breast vanished that day. Yesterday, when I came to the church, they were singing a congregational song. One man told me that if you sing, you fall and I die. I said, let me sing and die. I just managed, I sang. After the prayer, I believe God. Something happened this evening as we are coming from our group. I was in the bus that was carrying us. I just felt relief, and I started leading chorus. Before now, to sing is even a problem. I led the chorus almost till we reached this place. When I came down from the bus, I was running, rushing, which I could not do before, since after that problem I had. And I came in here. And to crown it all, after the prayer this evening, I just sat down. I said, before we go out and testify, I want a sign. And it is like there is a load that was on my heart that was lifted up. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! God has delivered me. Are you here? No matter the number of your problem, you will not live here with it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Remember that verse, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. God has given you rest. The load is lifted. The load of the devil, the affliction of Satan, removed. High blood pressure, all oppression, all affliction disappear after prayer, and the blessing will be permanent in Jesus' name. Yes. Praise the Lord! Brethren, my name is Sister Rhoda Thomas. I want to give glory to God for what God has done in my life. 2021 is my year. Praise the Lord! For more than 30 years, I've been praying to God and uh, I've been processing my license concerning my business. And Satan said, no way for me. At a time, I got tired. I said, I will not, I will not do it. Again, six years ago, I, I started the process again. No way. So, um, um, on, that's January of this uh, year, when we have our um, uh, state leadership congress. I met one of our sisters that were in the same line. So I asked her about her own. She said she's still there that the thing is not yet true. So I, I told her that I'm tired. So she encouraged me that I should still try. 
So after the program, I went, I started the whole thing again, and God began to do his work. So on Sunday, after the, our uh, worship service, I met one of our pastors for counsel. He prayed for me, and he told me that I should wait upon God. And since that Sunday, since the day the program started, I've been praying unto God that God will visit me. So that very Thursday, when the program started, uh, I prayed at home. When, after my prayer, I said, let me go out. Behold, my phone rang, and I appealed the call. It was uh, the secretary from pharmaceutical council. He said, I should come, that my license is ready. And brother, on Friday, to God be the glory, I collected my license. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! The Lord has done it. Swearing above, and as the period the Lord has chosen to make our sister to swear. You continue to swear in Jesus' name. Amen. And everyone that needs one license or the other, one permit or the other, you're looking for admission, you're looking for scholarship, whatever you desire, the Lord has done it. Believe you are going to see the manifestation in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We take one more here, then we move over to the media section. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. By the grace of God, my name is Sister Sawa Lord Ufemi. I'm from Abuja region, Gusape Group, and Paduma Tori District. I thank God for what God did in my life since the beginning of the program. Tonight, I give God the glory for the miracle that God wrought in my two legs. I discovered that I started having these pains, very sharp pains in my two legs. And the leg is so heavy. And if I'm walking you it, I'll be using this time so that, be, so that people will not know. But I know what I'm feeling in the leg. So by the grace of God, as our Father in the Lord was praying, as he just said, all the pains, I was just expressing that something as if something is drawing that leg. It's drawing the two. It's drawing the two. I, I look and say, miracle has happened in this leg. So I say, because I've told God, enough is enough. I've thanked you to enough is enough for the pain. And God answered my prayer through the prayer of our Father in the Lord. I just quickly went. I went and, I went and moved the steps. Because if I want to come down from the step, I will just move small. So, but this one, I quickly go and che check whether truly God has done it. And God has done it. All the pains, all the problems in my legs, everything vanished away. All the heaviness, everything was removed. And the leg is light now by the glory of the name of the Lord. I said, may his name be exalted forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. God that I do my own, we do your own in Jesus' name. Amen. All the heaviness, all the pain, all the affliction, enough. Enough. It's enough. Gone. Gone. And the Lord has done it. The miracle will be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's uh, move on to the media session, and we want to listen to what God has done for others in other places. If you have enough time, we'll come back to take more down here. From Europe to Africa, and right back here in Nigeria, a lot of testimonies have come in tonight. We begin in northern Nigeria, Mina, Niger State, for a live testimony. It over to Mina. Sister Lord, I'm by name Grace Sunday from Kiroro Group of District. I want to glorify the name of the Lord for what the Lord has did in my life. I did too. I don't know what happened. I told my mom. But she told me that after taking water, that that will dissolve the food. Or if the thing is not, the food that I take, that, that I take is not digesting. If I take water, it will digest the food. I take much water that on Monday morning to evening, nothing happened. Tuesday morning to evening again, nothing happened. I say, how? Mommy, I don't see anything, no. Even when the thing feels as if I want to go and pour out, when I went to college, that is not true. I say, God, this program that is coming up on Thursday evening, I want some miracle to happen to me. 
So that day evening, when the man of God was praying, so was at the end of the program, when he just said that wherever place you have a pain, just lay your hand on it. I just raised my two hand up. I said, God, locate me. I I not even say this where my body is failing me, but this is what is wrong with, with me. I want a perfect healing concerning that because it's not a normal thing for human beings not to see for a to stoop for a whole day. So I went to college that night when the man of God was praying. After the prayer, I mean, when I went to college, I just see a little bit. I said, God, this is the beginning of the miracle. So I went home that morning, I mean that night. The next morning, I stood a lot. I see my claim behind me is God said in Jesus' name. And my second testimony also is concerning my younger brother. That was on Tuesday evening. After the program, our group pastor said we should wait, that we have a meeting with us, that is the worker. So I waited. When he was calling me, I said that we should wait. After the program, we are going together because my mother went for CPP that evening. So, lo and behold, I look around, I didn't see him. I see what happened. I said, we run outside him. Maybe I'm a meeting by the road. And when I get to our junction, there is a faster accident that happened. I wasn't there, but what I see, the front and the back tire twist together. You cannot even say this where the tire and the body of the motor is. When I just say, I say, ah, this is what we should pass through. Let me just look and peep whether my younger brother is around here. I look, but people are much. I say, let me just go home. I'm tired. And lo and behold, when I get home, I met him eating. I think he, I do not even ask any question. I just eat my food and we sleep. So the last next morning, my mother came back for CPP. I was, and he was narrating to my mother, this is what happened to me. He fully God has saved him. Because from what I had that on Thursday evening, people are saying that, ah, two guys that are taking fresh air in between that road, that is how the car just crushed them. I said, so you are going to I'm there. It's just God that said it. The woman that is in the thing that road, that is there. He just passed. And before you know, just hear a sound of car passing him by. I said, God, may your name be highly exalted. I don't know what happened to my mom that day. She was even calling my number through that evening. I should not, I should not let him go alone. But bless the name of the Lord. How the Lord take past control of that thing. I see his name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Next, we take from Kano State, Kano State, Nigeria. Next, we take from from Ebe Group, Ebe Group. This morning goes like this. I was in the church yesterday when they were, when everybody were giving testimonies. I now said to myself, if God can do it for these people, why God can, can God do it for me? So I just keep to their testimony. I've been having this sleeping sickness for like 20 years now. So it was a struggle for me to finish my primary school and secondary school. And since then, I could not work, just staying at home, eat. When the sleep comes, like five to six minutes, once it comes, I can't resist it. I must sleep. So that yesterday, after I went home, this morning, I wake up. No sleep, no sleeping, no dozing, nothing. Uh, I wake up, wash the slate, do every house choice. I even said, okay, this afternoon I should rest my head. The sleep didn't come. See, now, I said when the pastor was preaching, I wanted to doze up. I said, no, I key to my blessing. That sleep, I will control you, will no longer control me. And that was how everything went. Thank God for the for the man of God who has healed me, who has delivered me from this. May his name be praised in Jesus' name. We go to Yola Adamawa State. Yola Adamawa State.
While we allow Yola to get ready, we'll take some sent in from the social media. This one says, I really thank God for what he did for me. There was heavy burden and guilt in my heart. After the ministration of the man of God, I discovered that my heart was as if cool water was poured upon it. And since then, Joy has returned. Her name is Joy Sheretti. Sister Nkechi from Canaan District wrote, God did wonders in my life. I saw a chameleon one day on my way. Since then, I began experiencing moving objects in my body, all over my body, and it causes sharp leg things. When the man of God prayed as he was ministering, all the pains disappeared, and now I can turn my neck and move anywhere I want to go. Praise the Lord. Testimony also from the social media. Aguantib Guagualada region. Mrs. Ngunan Osa, a 35-year-old woman, testified that she had been suffering from chest pains at the back with a swelling at the same place. But after the prayers of the pastor on Friday, she received complete deliverance. From Jigawa State, Hadeja region, Brother Asap testified of instantaneous healing of an excruciating waist and back pain after the prayer of the man of God. From Taraba State, Brother Shedrach Misha could not sleep at night for more than two hours. This problem started since January last year. He visited many hospitals. There was no solution. But last night, when the man of God prayed, he got total deliverance. He went home and slept well for many hours. Praise the Lord. Bro Moses testified that since the first day of the program, he's been experiencing severe pain in his nose, throat, and chest. The pain still pers persisted until today, but after the prayer of the man of God, the pain disappeared. Sister Precious Dancano testified of how she felt some sharp pains on her right shoulder, on the first day of the program, she spoke to the pain as the man of God directed, and the pain disappeared. We now go to Ukraine. Ukraine. From Ukraine comes this testimony. Okay, uh, the one from Ukraine is being downloaded. But this one comes from Taraba State. Mama Usman. We've taken this. And there is uh, this one also. That says the sister has been experiencing toothache for years now. After the prayers of the man of God, the toothache disappeared. Sister Lovina Hysens testified that over time she had been having pain in her right hand side of her abdomen, her abdomen which causes her discomfort. But when the prayers of the pastor went on, as it went on, the pain totally disappeared also from the social media we have this one that talks about sister Eunice Ojo she built a house and the enemy said you cannot occupy it since then she moved out of the house but after the prayers of the man of God she returned to that house and now she is free from fear from Ukraine comes this one. It says, I recently developed a radiating pain from the left part of my chest to my arm and back on Thursday night. After the prayers tonight, I felt power on the left side of my chest. And after the prayers, the pain disappeared. This one is from the United States of America. Elizabeth says... I couldn't hear from my second year. It's been blocked for over 20 years. After the prayer of the man of God, the ear was tested, and now Elizabeth can hear properly. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ukraine, you know where it is. And then America. And all that stage all over, God is working. 
as the man of God prayed here, the power of God was touching them in the various places. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. The power of God knows no limit and knows no boundary and has no constraint about distance as he worked far, far, far away in all, of the, all those other places. Why will you be left behind? Why will the miracle pass you by? You will not miss your own in Jesus' name. If there's something you are still believing God for, before the end of this program, you will receive your miracle in Jesus' name. We'll take just two more from here, then we'll round up. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name's uh, Philip Yenlaefa Opomo. I'm from Bayasa State, but I reside at Kapuza, Abuja, FCT. I was having a running stomach for about two weeks. Thank God for this program. I met pastors. They prayed. I took some drugs. It was not working. I was even intending to go to the hospital, but because of this coro something and I was scared, I said, no, I don't want to go. And they said, no, it's, it's a I'm a victim of coronavirus. So I was so scared. So I said, okay, let me wait. So this program came up on Thursday this week. I went for the day one. So at Kabusa, the day one on Thursday, the thing didn't stop. Now, the following day, Friday, the day two, I saw something in the realm of the spirit, like cockroach, came out. As I speak with you, from that yesterday till now, I'm not experiencing any movement in my stomach. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. The spiritual affliction, the the planting of the devil was located by the mighty power of our God, even though she was, he wasn't here physically. Back in the district in Kabusa, the power of God touched, healed, delivered, liberated our brother. Praise the Lord! The last testifier now. Praise the Lord. And by name, I'm of whom Jesus was born. I'm 13 years of age, and for the past eight years, I've been having pains on my waist, severe waist pains. When I take drugs, drugs don't work. But yesterday, after the prayer of GS, the pain disappeared, and I wasn't opportune to come and share the testimony. And I said I will share the testimony today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Drugs failed, but the power of our God cannot fail. The power of our God cannot fail. What drugs fail to do, the mighty power of God has done it for him. And God is no respecter of person, old, young, and near or far, at the center of the administration of thousands of kilometers away, our God is at work. He is able. And whatsoever you see desire, believe God. You will receive your miracle in Jesus' name. And you will be the next testifier. Either here, maybe you have the chance. Or back in your district, you give your testimony. And the name of our God will be glorified in Jesus' name. Let's remember the service tomorrow in our various districts. We have to start at 8 o'clock. But remember, 30 minutes prayer before the service. Be there punctually. And in the evening, 5 p.m., the crusade continues. Monday, Tuesday, 6 p.m., the crusade continues. Be in your district or group or on the group headquarters so that you can partake of the fullness of the blessing of God. And invite others, send them text, phone them, call them, visit them, knock at their door, tell them God is doing great wonders in our midst. They should come, they will be partakers, and they will be blessed. Let's rise up and glorify the name of the Lord together. Let's thank him for what he has done. 
And let's praise the name of the Lord for the testimonies, for the miracles, for the souls that are saved, for the people that are healed, for the people that are delivered. Our great God, the mighty God of heaven, has visited us. He has visited many people in the various places and has done great wonders. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Give God the praise.